Hi friends, today we are going to make cinnamon rolls. For cinnamon rolls, we are going to prepare the yeast. For the yeast, we have to take about half a cup of a milk and we are going to keep it in the microwave oven for one minute. We are going to have the milk. The milk must not be more hot or more cold. Now we are going to add about one teaspoon of sugar that will make the yeast to grow a lot. Next, we are going to add our chief ingredient that is the yeast, about 2 1 by 4 teaspoons of yeast. Then, give it a gentle stir. Keep it aside for 5 minutes. Now for the batter, we are going to have taken about three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now we are going to add about one by four cup of granulated sugar. Along with that, we are going to add one by four cup of light brown sugar. You can also add dark brown sugar if you need. Next, we have taken about one teaspoon of salt and about one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And give it a gentle mix so that all the wet dry ingredients would be mixed thoroughly. Now you can see that the yeast has frozen up. Now we are going to add to this one egg. And then we are going to add the about 6 tablespoons of butter inside. You can maximum make it to melted, but don't make it too hot. Then gently whisk it. The next stage we are going to do it with the tear mixture. Now we are going to mix the wet ingredient to the flour. First, put a little bit of the flour on the place where you are going to knead it. Now take the dough from the mixture then knead it with your hands. Until you get a soft dough. You can see the dough is soft. If you punch it, it will just come back. So that is the main thing that it has become soft. Now we can take the any bowl, just grease it with oil, then take the dough, keep it inside just by greasing the dough with the oil and let it rest for about 2 hours. Okay, we can wait for two hours. Now for the filling, we have taken about three tablespoons of sugar. To this, I am going to add three tablespoons of light brown sugar. Along to that, we are going to add about one tablespoon of our favorite cinnamon powder. Mix it well. Now you can see that our dough has been raised a lot. First what we are going to do is give a punch in order to remove all the air present in it. Now 
take the dough Now with one dough we are going to make the cinnamon rolls. One part. Now we are going to roll this one. We have to roll the dough. Make as possible. Don't make it more thin. Yeah, our dough is ready. Now we are going to add a lot and lots of butter. cinnamon powder filling it gives the actual taste for the cinnamon rolls it looks tempting no now we are going to roll it roll it slowly from the outer edge Don't be in a rush. Slowly take it over. Okay, we have done the rolling. Now for making the rolls, we can use a floss thread and just bind it. It can cut smoothly rather than using a knife. Now we can see the rolls ready for us. Now we are going to take it in a bowl. Before that, brush the bowl with the lot butter. You can take a round pan or you can take a square pan. Whichever is available with you, you can use it. But the main thing is we have to keep each rolls a little bit distance apart. Because we are going to keep it for another 30 minutes so that it will just expand itself. Keep a little bit distance. For this, we are going to keep it for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I am going to do the remaining part of the top. Now we are rolling the other part. It is the same pass process to be repeated. Extend the dough as, as much as possible. Next we have must add a lot and lots of butter. Just spread it evenly over the top. This only gives the separation of the layers nicely. Spread it evenly. Above this, we are going to add the filling. Now we can spread the cinnamon filling. This is the one which will melt and gives us the 
just fold this like this out. Now we are going to start folding. Fold it slowly from the outside edge. If you are not having any thre floss thread, you can also use the cutter in order to have the pieces. see the rows. Again we are going to keep these rules for about 30 minutes so that it will now we are going to cover it with a clean sheet and keep it for 30 Keep it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 20 degree, 200 degrees Celsius or else you can keep it at 375 degree Fahrenheit heat. It depends upon the oven which you are using. Lightly brush it off and it is ready to go inside the oven. We have to keep it for 20 minutes. At the top, we must add some cream. For this, I am going to do only butter icing. For that, I have taken about 100 grams of butter and then 2 cups of sugar. And then I am going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. That gives a taste. going to use the mixture, standing mixture for me in this way. First try to mix it with the lower pressure. You can also do it with a hand bread, but I should not mostly to do it in the mixture. Now our cinnamon rolls is ready. Now we are going to apply the cream over each cinnamon roll so that in the heat it will melt and then it will be yummy to taste. Finally, our cinnamon rolls are ready. Now our cinnamon rolls are ready. We are going to take one cinnamon roll and keep it for tasting. Wow, yummy. Look, 